guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 21 on the Xbox Series X. It is time to continue with career mode for Moto2. We've got Aragon, and then we've got Mazzano, and we have two people to have a look at. It's a no from me, but it's a yes from me. Okay, so, Aragon. Oh, what's happening here? We can do a frame upgrade. I'm pretty sure we've done this last time, but it hasn't saved because I obviously backed out. So that means we've actually lost a week. Okay. So, race options. Seven laps around Aragon. What's going to happen? It's, it's dry, which is the main thing. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Let's see how the race goes. I'm very full of pasta, so I'm feeling quite lethargic. But let's go. Pretty Q2, fastest overall, but only just less than a tenth of a second separating myself and Sam Lowe's in second place. Let's see how we go qualifying. I've uh, definitely used up some tyres. So, let's change them over. I'll stick with medium front, medium rear. Even though it's suggesting a hard rear tyre, but I'll go for a medium. See what we can do in qualifying. Hopefully it'll be enough of a, uh, a decent lap. Time we've got to beat at the moment. Big old slide, and that is really simply wide through turn one, so not a good start to the lap. The bike is feeling much better around here than what it felt at Silverstone. Silverstone, there was something definitely wrong with it, and I don't know what it was, but it just wasn't feeling right at all. It, uh, yeah, it felt like the engine engine braking was turned way up, even though I had it turned way down. Um, so yeah, not ideal, not what you want. But anyway, feeling much better here at Aragon. Not a track I particularly enjoy or like just one of those circuits you just have to get through. Oh, someone's just gone down. Okay, we're under the time at the moment. But I don't think Baldessari's time is going to stick anyway. I think that's going to be beaten by the, some of the other riders. Okay, we have, uh, it's been quite a messy lap so far, so not ideal. I think we can go quicker again, especially in sector one. Okay, through the last couple of corners, very wide there, but we'll bring that back for the exit. Okay, so we've just set a new benchmark. Okay, so our lap stuck. 52-1, Ralph Fernandez second and Sam Lowe's in third. Let's go race. Okay, so just had to back out because they were all crashing. So let's see uh, if this helps and they've stopped crashing now. Hopefully. Right, here we go. Oh, it's a little bit wide through turn one. We still lead, that's the main thing. Alright, power mapping two. It's a shame I was having a good, good battle with Lowe's as I go very wide there. Good battle with Lowe's and then he ended up crashing because the AI just decided to, uh, to have a bit of a crash fest. That's wide from me. Fernandez trying to come through. Not going to let him. OK. 
Okay, come on. Let's keep doing what we're doing. And hopefully it will be enough. Try and save power mapping three for later on in the race if we need it. If we very might, very well might need it because, yeah, they're still there. There's literally nothing in it at the moment. This is the start of lap two of seven. Oh, he's trying to come through on the inside. And he is through. Ralph Fernandez. I've gone wide again. Same place. Oh. Collision there with Lowe's. Oh no, they're all, they're all here. Right, steady. Steady, steady, steady. Might have to go for power mapping three on the back straight. See if uh, we can pull away from these guys and go with Fernandez a bit. So we are sandwiched between the two Red Bull KTMs at the moment. There we all go wide. That's fine. Try and stay with him. Mess that one up. It's allowing him to get away as well. Yeah, you look behind you. Unfortunately, I'm nowhere near you. Well, fortunately for you. Unfortunately for me. Yeah, nowhere near close enough now. Again, using power map in three. Oh, it's loses in third now. Come on, keep going. They're not going to give up. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay, that was a bit better through sector once, apart from that massive spin. 
And that has allowed Lowe's through. Or has it? I'm trying to keep around the outside. Yeah, no, he's through. Oh, he went on the inside. That is not where you want to be. Left-hand side of the rear tyre is... Yeah, it's overheating, so we're spinning up a little bit. Which is not ideal. This is not looking good. I got a horrible feeling we're going to end up getting mugged at some point. Okay, Bazaki tried to get underneath me then, but I had a much tighter line. Fernandez is away with this. Bazaki nearly made it through. No, please leave me alone. No, you can leave me alone. Mum, it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Oh, big moment there. Oh dear, this is not going to end well. Two laps to go. Can we hold them off? I'm not so sure if I can or not. Again, they go for that inside line there. Um, surely it compromises their exit though, because they're just too tight. But you'd think they, they would compromise their exit. Slide. Oh, left the door open. Come on, come on, come on, we got one more lap to go. Oh, 
I sent me a bit wide, but no one was looking up the inside. Okay, one lap to go. Oh, yeah, mess that up. Zaki's gonna come through. That's annoying. And a wheelie's even more annoying. Right, don't lose sight of Izaki. Oh, I've messed that up. Still get a third though. It's gonna be third. And we needed to beat Bezeki because he's second in the bloody championship, isn't he? Well, Park Ferme starts oh. with the top performers. We're going yeah, 24 points is down to now. Okay. Making the podium At least we go to part firm, mate. Result, but it's also true this rider could have gone further today. Yeah, we could have gone further, but uh, that was a bloody tough race. Very tough. Let's hope we have better luck at Mazzano, although you know what happened in Moto3. It didn't go well at Mazzano at all. Let's hope we have better luck in Moto2. Bezeki's home race, of course. We need to start beating Bezeki. Otherwise, if he keeps chipping away, we're soon going to be in trouble. Alright. Done, 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 done. Okay. So then. Nine laps at uh, Mazzano. Please be dry. Oh, for God's sake. It's wet. It's raining. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll do free practice, qualifying, and then the warm-up just to get used to the wet. And then we race. So I was much quicker in FP3. Uh, so I'm confident we can get pole, but I'm not too sure about the actual race itself. Obviously, we're still in the dry. Just need to change my tyres. Medium, medium. Sounds good. Right, All right, here we go with qualifying. Let's see if we can get pole position. Right, here we go, 38.5 so far from Vietti. So I had Remy Garner do a really, really stupid move during FP3. And in fact took me out, or took us both out. Luckily, it wasn't the race, but uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a, a weird move for a, a free practice session. I was basically in the double right-hander um, at the hairpin, which we're coming to very, very soon. It's basically the next couple of corners. So I was just obviously breaking normally. And he decided to go, just completely cut the corner, and uh, went down and wiped me out. I thought that was a bit strange. Okay. 
catching these two. I mean, I haven't got enough fuel to do another lap anyway. Let's see what this is going to be. It's definitely going to be 37. Yeah, 37 3. I reckon that'll do us. I reckon that'll do us. So, yeah, we are on pole position by one whole second. Stopwatch genius. Reach your qualifying objectives 15 times in career mode. Excellent. Okay. So. Oh, I can. That's weird. I can control my rider. <laughs> Look at the chaos we're causing. I can control my rider even though the menu's up. That's weird. Can I put one of their bikes up? No. Unfortunately not. <laughs> They're all literally crashing there. <laughs> Any more? Yeah, there goes another one. <laughs> if I stand here. There we go. <laughs> Look at all those bikes. Look at all those riders just lying there. <laughs> what is going on there? Right. Let's get into the race, shall we? Right then, time to go racing. Medium, medium. I mean, that's all we got anyway because it's wet. I was not very fast in morning warm-up. Not very fast at all. Let's see uh, what happens though. Because we had similar things at Assen. That was an okay start. I'm a little bit concerned about this race. Okay, some have gone down already. Wow. It is wet. Try to pull away if I can. Right, power mapping too before we forget. That's too wide for me. Right, beat Bezeki. Oh, steady, steady, steady. You can tell I didn't do many laps in the uh, in the in the wet because I'm literally all over the place. First gear, probably not a good idea through her. So Lowe's still in second. Remy Gardner in third, although someone's just gone down. I think it's someone a bit further back yet. Yeah, track limits. Bezeki's still up though. He's our main rival, so we need to uh Try and win this one if we can. Oh, steady, 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 steady. Keep going, keep going, keep doing what we need to. Still a little bit wide again. Oh, steady. That's the corner where we actually gain quite a bit of time. Just on acceleration, I don't know why. But we seem to get a better exit. Keep it as tidy as possible. Right, let's go with second gear for this corner. Just 
steady. Oh yeah, I forgot it's like nine laps around here. Nine laps in the rain around Mazzano. This season we've had quite a few wet races. I mean, the majority of them have, have actually played into our hands. But, um, yeah, don't enjoy doing the wet races. I prefer being dry. Bezeki's still in fifth. His teammate's just in front of him, Vietti. Sit. It goes over three seconds there, which is nice to see. I think we do need first gear for that corner. Just short shift a little bit. The good thing is, I think we're going to be okay with winning this one. Unless I have an accident, which hopefully I won't. Considering how hard we had to try at Aragon. It's nice to come here and, although it's raining, be a little bit more relaxed. It's always nice to, to be a bit more relaxed rather than stressed out. This corner we gotta watch out for as well. I'll tell you what, Vietti's just got lows. Gardner's dropped down a fifth. Oh, so is Vietti the man with the pace? Bezeki is there uh, in fourth now, so he's gained one position. Yeah, our lead's still going up. We're okay. Steady, steady. So, what shall we try power mapping one for a lap? See how we get on with power mapping one. Still sliding about. Oh, Lowe's has just gone down. So. Bezeki up to third. I have already backed out of... Uh, this event once because they were crashing a hell of a lot more it seems like they are still crashing but it is wet I guess so the oh steady steady it's obviously a lot easier to crash in the wet Bit of curb, bit of curbage. Don't 
Don't forget, people. Eat your cabbage. That big green leafy vegetable. <laughs> wasn't too bad on uh, power mapping one for a lap. I think we'll do one more lap with power mapping one. And we'll switch back to power mapping two. Because we're still, still able to pull away. Lowe's is not having a lot of luck recently, is he? I mean, I know he's, st he's still in sixth, despite crashing. But um, he's had like two comings together with, with me. At Silverstone, we had a coming together and he went down. Um, Aragon, we were fighting and he decided to go for the inside curb or cut the corner for some reason. And he went down. And he's gone down in this race as well. So steady. Nearly lost the front then. Be nice to win again. Feels like I literally can't remember the last time I won. Seems like ages ago. In fact, it was ages ago. Is it Catalonia? Or was it? I can't remember. Right, power mapping two now. Good news for um, UK viewers of MotoGP because this coming weekend, um, which is Le Mans for MotoGP, you can watch MotoGP for free on ITV4. And it's going to be live as well, which uh, for those who are outside the UK, basically uh, BT Sport have the rights to MotoGP. Um, ITV4 usually has the highlights um, package, which is on during the week, I think like Monday or a Tuesday. Um, but now ITV4 are showing uh, Le Mans, only Le Mans, um, live. So yeah, if you're a UK viewer, and maybe you've only been uh, stuck with just watching the race highlights on ITV4 um, and you haven't subscribed to BT Sport, then uh, you're in luck. You can watch the whole weekend live on ITV4. Um, yeah, so fantastic news. I'm assuming it's the whole weekend and not just race day. I haven't actually looked into it too much, but um, yeah, fantastic. Anyway, hopefully we'll uh, bring more viewers in and... Uh, Maybe get some new, new fans for the sport as well. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Bezeki second. I missed that. I'm only going to gain five points on him. Only good thing is. It's going to go over a whole race wins worth of points, isn't it? So that's, uh, that's something. Now, don't do anything stupid like throw it up the road. That would be something very stupid to do. We got a 10 second lead, so there's no need to do anything rash, there's no need to push. Let's just keep the bike up right and uh, get to the end. Oh, 
Oh, messed that up. Yeah. I oh, didn't give me a uh, track limits warning then. It's gone quiet. Yeah, they are still racing, okay. Now I can hear them again, so that's good. They're still going. Oh, imagine if Bezeki crashed on the final lap. What a shame that would be. I don't think it's going to happen. Come on, keep it smooth. Oh, I said smooth. I said smooth. Oh, ah. Oh. Vietti went down, Bezeki stayed on. Roberts went down as well, so Vietti and Roberts went down. Lowe's is back up to fifth. I mean, Vietti's only dropped one position. He's back down to fourth, he was third. But Bezeki stays on. Yeah, that was better. Thirteen second lead. That is a bit of a relief, although we only gained five points over Bezeki because he's going to get well, second place. With the top performers, we're going to take a look at confirmation oh. of the Moto 2 race result. Fastest lap went to Luti down in 16th place. Oh, quite a lot of DNFs. Dixon, Dalaporta, Sirene, Vieje, Arenas, Garzo, Baldazari, Boltus. Wow. Well... We needed that win. 29 points. And we move up to third again. We're joint on points with the Mark VDS team. But yeah, we're out of the team championship. It was a perfect day for him. <sighs> victory, Another win. It's been a while. It's been a while points. since I've had a win. It's been a tough old season. It started off pretty ominous with uh, some wins, but yeah, it's been getting a bit tricky. Yeah, that race was very, very similar to the one we had at Assen. Very similar. Excellent. So we can... Oh, my... We're nearly done. Wow, okay. So, Mategi. Then we got uh, Burry Ram. Phillip Island. Sepang and Valencia. Mategi next. Eight laps. Mategi, are you going to be dry? No, you're not. Oh, wet track. Wet track. Of all the things to be. I'm not looking forward to that. Because I know that the AI... Um, oh wow, look at, look at all these we can do. But we've got no one to do it because they're all working on frame. Yeah, the, the AI seem to have like a dry track traction on a, on, on a wet track. Anyway, standings, Moto3, Pedro Costa's leading that from Joan Messia in second place. Only two points there, so that's getting very, very, very close. Gabriel Rodriguez up to third, Darren Binder down to fourth, and John McPhee is in fifth. Moto 2, obviously I'm leading that from Bezeki in second, Gardner third, Lowe's fourth, and Digi Antonio in fifth. 
And MotoGP, he's got a comfortable lead. Fabio Quattararo leads from his teammate Maverick Vinales in second. Joan Mir third. Ma- uh, Franco Morbidelli in fourth. And Jack Miller in fifth. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I should see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe. Wash your hands and look after yourselves. See you.